Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you some Eclipse shortcut keys and these keys, these shortcut keys belong to the category is called editing source code. So first shortcut we are going to see control plus space and this shortcut basically helps you to content assistance. So let's go ahead in Eclipse and create a test project here. I would say test and now if you have created a class like this then you can type a main and press control space and you can write sorry a spelling mistake you can write main and control space and main method you have written. Again you can write sys out and control space so tool helps you to write system dot out dot print print line directly now you can write like sys r and control tab you can write uh, you can write there are so many things you can write for each loop right shortcuts you can write try catch try uh, press control tab right so these are the things you can do using by pressing control space now next that is that is very important shortcut key control plus one and this help is uh, help helps you to for the quick fix or quick assistance so let's go and do some R&D on the same as well. So I'm going to create this code. So first use case of control one. Like suppose if you are working with JDBC, then you might have written code like this, right? Control class dot for name, right? And here you are specifying the qualified name of your driver class. Com dot JDBC dot MySQL dot driver right and this guy is throwing a exception because class class dot for name for name it is a it is a factory method which is inside the java dot lang dot class package and this class throws a class not found exception and that exception is checked check decision so this code you will have to wrap either inside the try catch block or you need to throw you need to throws this out by using throws keyword so to fix it you can simply place press control one and this pop up comes and saying that what do you want to do whether you want to add throws clause or you want to handle within the try cache so i am selecting second options and without touching your mouse you can do this very easily now second use cases of control one uh, like uh, suppose I have an array, int array, and, and this is checking some integer value, right? You can create the method signature by using like find. greatest number and you can pass this array so this method doesn't exist that's why this is going to give you compilation issue so you can press control one again and you can create method like this right and you can define method definition over here so this is the second use case even if you write some some description over here before the method like this method method find greatest number and here you have a spelling mistake so this also you can remove by using control one so this is suggesting there should be a method so i can correct like this 
even using control control on we can create a new class as well like suppose I'm trying to define employee uh, new employee right and this is the same compilation issue right because employee class doesn't exist so you can press control one and you can choose this option create a class and you can create a class right so i i hope you understood what the significance of control plus one so control plus one is the one of the important key in eclipse and you can use anywhere like to create a method signature to fix a compilation issue and all now next and third uh, eclipse shortcut we have we have a control sorry alt plus forward slash so this basically we use for the word completion right suppose i'm trying to print uh, a double c suppose a c and if if you press alt forward slash so automatically this is typing the next word which is available which class is available in our eclipse itself itself so this is for auto completion right so again if i try to em and press alt forward slash so this is directly giving me the employee so this is just for auto completion so that's all i wanted to teach you in this video tutorial guys so next video i'm going to cover some more eclipse shortcuts so please be with me over there and uh, i hope you liked this video tutorial uh, i will recommend you to please subscribe my youtube channel i'm going to upload more and more videos related to java technology so we'll have good learning curve if you followed follows those videos that's all i wanted to tell you so thank you so much for watching this video